Hi there, Director of Photography, Alec Watson, back with a cool tutorial on the Develop Brush. This is a place that is a whole lot of fun to use and you can do so many things. We're gonna do it as a part A and a part B. I don't know why I did two fingers because that would be one and two. Part A and B, I don't know. It looks something like that, but this will be way easier and way more fun. Develop Brush. Let's go in and work on her eyes. This is just a raw shot, nothing done to it. So we're going to make her eyes kind of pop. And one of the cool things about that is that this is not destructive. We can go in and make changes if we overdo it, because eyes are one where it's really easy to overdo. We can dial it back later, and that's one of the things I love about this. So we have up on our develop brush a thing called nib width. It's the size of our brush. We can change it there, or if you've got a mouse that scrolls, you can scroll it on your mouse. There's two circles going on. There is a center circle and a dotted circle around the outside. The dotted circle around the outside has to do with what's called feathering. It's the, it's the fall off, the softness. I tend to like a fairly soft but small brush. That tends to be really forgiving. So with this, we're going to show our brush strokes and what that's gonna do, it's gonna show up as blue currently or a purplish blue. And we're not coloring her eyes blue, we're just seeing where we're coloring. We can turn that off. If we do that, it's, it's kinda hard to see what's going on. So we turn that on and we can also change the color of that if we need, we need to. Sometimes we're gonna, we're gonna do her lipstick later and if your brush, where you're showing the brush is the same color as the thing you're you're working on, that makes it tricky. So it's adaptable. So here we go. We have her eyes color blue. Now if you're uncoordinated, like I can be sometimes, uh, a right click goes and erases the mess you just made up. Okay, so what have I done? I made her eyes blue, not really what we're after. What I did is that's just a selection. Now from here, we can go in and we can change any of these things. So we can change the exposure. We can change the brightness of her eyes. Now you'll notice in her eyes, uh, like everybody's eyes, uh, eyes aren't actually pure white. And this is where you also, it, it's nice to be able to dial it back later. So what I like to do is I'd like to take down the saturation. And what you'll notice, if I turn the saturation way up, they're, like most people's eyes, they're actually kind of reddish in the corners and they're whitest near the iris. As we pull that back, they'll actually turn to a bit of a gray. And you don't wanna dial it back to their black and white eyes, because that's gonna look fake. You wanna leave a touch of color in there. Then when you've got that touch of color, you're gonna adjust the brightness. And there we go. We will toggle this on and off, and there is the whites of her eyes brightened. Now, what we wanna do also is look at her iris. Well. We don't want to take the color out of her iris, so we're going to take another brush. We're going to, with another brush, select her eyes. Now, we can't see exactly what I did, right? So we show the brush strokes, and it was just like, oh, not bad. We'll go in, get her eyes really good. We'll get her other eye. There we go, both irises done. And then we turn off where the brush strokes were. And now this one we adjust separately. We're going to open up the exposure a little for her. We'll give her a little extra saturation in her eyes. And clarity, clarity makes things pop. And those are gonna make her eyes pop. So I really recommend when you're working on eyes, it's really easy to overdo things when you're in tight like this, which you would, I don't know, that's counterintuitive for me. It seems like if I'm really focusing on something, I would get it right. But it turns out you really need to see the whole picture. And so when I pull back and I turn her eyes on and off, it's just like, you know what, her iris is good, but those eye whites, I might have overdone that. So we go back to the first brush and that was in charge of the whites of her eyes. And we're gonna dial that back just a touch. There we go. Toggle it on and off, and boom. We've got eyes that are whitened, they pop, and yet they still look uh, like they're natural enough that maybe she just has the most awesome eyes ever, and that's kinda what we're after. Next up, 
we're going to change the, her lip color to coordinate with her hair because the makeup people, they didn't have it dialed in right today. <laughs>